Capricorn and welcome to Adventures in Pixieland. This is going to be your weekly reading going from November 15th to November 22nd. This space has been cleared and these decks have been shuffled and cut with your energy in mind, so we are ready to jump in. But before we do, let's handle that busy work. Please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell below so you will know when Capricorn content is uploaded. Capricorn content comes out every single Wednesday. If you're feeling my vibe and would like a personal read, please feel free to check out the description box below. If you're really feeling my vibe and would like to subscribe, please click on that link to my Patreon account in the description box below. Patreon subscribers get a certain number of free monthly personal readings, depending upon subscription level. Also down there, you'll find all my social media contacts as well as a list of some personal readings that I offer. If you have any questions, comments, or have any particular discussions that you wish to have, um, do feel free to reach out across one of those social media platforms or via comment under this video. I only ask that you keep it respectful and professional because I will keep it respectful and professional with you. I, let's not name call. I don't, you know, we don't have to agree with each other's opinion. It's all right. I'm okay if you don't agree. <laughs> I promise. And whether or not I agree with you should not really make that big of a difference in your world, really. Or if any at all. Right? You don't really know me, so it's fine. It should only matter to you if you actually know me in real life. And then we can just have an open-hearted discussion. Okay? I'm always down for that. Um, also, uh, you'll find on YouTube every day there is a daily energy reading as well as for the time being the various posts that make that up. Um, as of next week, I believe the only thing that I've, I've pretty much come to the decision um, that what you'll get to uh, see is uh, the astrology and the Elder Futhark rune and just the daily energy reading. Uh, the daily energy reading has those two things, four oracle cards, two, at least two of those have affirmations uh, every single day, and then it has an energy summary at the end. YouTube's algorithms do not allow anything over a minute long to be considered a short. And then it's harder to get the things into the mix. So it becomes extra work. Um, for no real intrinsic reward. <coughs> so, um, I've made the decision that I will be wrapping that into just the two things because it will make my week easier. And my day job's getting busy, so I need it to be a little easier. Now, also down there you'll find a link to my Redbubble store where you can find this mat and other products like it. Let's jump into your astrology. All right. So the 15th today is actually quite a good day. Very blessedly. Okay. We have a waxing crescent moon, keeping a list of our intentions in mind in very practical Capricorn. So you're going to be feeling it. It's going to be particularly emotionally good for you. It, uh, until... Oh, actually, that's not true. I was looking at the wrong day. That's the 16th. I'll get to that when we get to that. Okay, so on the 15th, it's still a very good day. That Mer Mercury is in Sagittarius. That moon, still the waxing crescent moon. That's parts true, but it's in Sagittarius until 5.57 p.m. when we have a void, of course, moon. But that Mercury in Sagittarius, talking about our... Uh, our dynamic big ideas, our optimistic adventures, it is sextile. That's favorable, 60 degree angle in the night sky, to Venus, relationship focused Venus, in a balanced Libra. Communication is going to be really easy. Um, and seeing eye to eye or having that heart to heart conversation is going to be much easier to have. Much easier to have. On the 16th, we have that waxing crescent moon uh, 
uh, go into Capricorn at 2.41 a.m. So very practical. This day, you're going to be focused on your long-term plans, especially so you. Practical things are it's going to be what's on your mind. It'll be a productive day. So if you have something that you've been waiting to like focus on, especially for you, that's, that's going to be the day for you to focus on it. The next day is the 18th. We have a void, of course, moon at 3.27 a.m. We have at 6.28 a.m. EDT, that waxing crescent moon entering into humanitarian Aquarius. So we're going to be thinking about our place within the world. But that sun, self-focused sun in Scorpio, conjunct, that's less than a 10 degree angle, okay? Conjunct Mars, action taker Mars, in passionate Scorpio. Conjunctions can only happen because it's less than a 10 degree angle when those uh, those two planets are in alignment because they need to be within a 10 degree angle of that astrological sign. So it's only happening when there's an alignment happening. Uh, there is a change that you are focused on, but you need to do more research or ask experts. If you're not gonna do the digging yourself, ask, ask experts before you take any actions, no matter how passionate you are about them. You really do have to get the right answers. On the 19th, the waxing crescent moon is still in that humanitarian Aquarius, so we're still thinking about how we show up in the world emotionally. Now it's square, disruptive Uranus, retrograde, and foundational Taurus. The planet of disruption, retrograde, and foundational Taurus means not moving. The institutions still haven't moved. You know, the systems are still the same. Whatever was frustrating and slow the last time you had to interact with it, it's still frustrating and slow. You have changes that you want to make that now have to get put on hold. And this is going to frustrate you. So you're going to need to be able to keep your head about you. Don't lose your cool. It's not worth losing your cool. Now, on the 22nd, we have a void, of course, moon at 10, 10 a.m. And at 12, 19 p.m., that waxing gibbous moon is in Aries. So, so now we're down here, assessing your goals, figuring out what's working for you and what needs to change, okay? The self-focused sun enters into dynamic Sagittarius. There is a ton of energy in the air for you to take action with. Adventure and optimism should take the lead. Let them be your guide that they're going to lead you to something fun. If somebody goes, hey, you want to go do this unexpectedly fun thing with me today? Your answer should be yes. Yes, I want to go have fun. It's kind of like, um, that's a day for reference. Remember that part in the Harry Potter movie? We had that elixir of luck. <coughs> Harry won the elixir of luck for having like that perfect potion in the half-blood prince. Yeah. The elixir of luck potion. That's what that day is. It's the elixir of luck potion. The 22nd. Capricorn, November 15th to the 22nd. Take that one too because it was feeling spry. Capricorn, November 15th to the 22nd. Capricorn, look at you showing up right away. November 15th to the 22nd. So you were doing something in your past. Big surprise. Capricorn, November 15th to the 22nd. Uh oh. Capricorn, November 15th to the 22nd. Aw, Cappy. Capricorn, November 15th. What's going on, boo boo? Capricorn, November 15th to the 22nd. Capricorn, November 15th to the 22nd. Capricorn, November 15th to the 22nd. Hmm. I know a lot of Capricorns. 
I have a lot of Capricorns in my friends and family units. It's a good mix. Like we get on together just fine, as long as I'm not feeling too stubborn. You know, kind of let need to let them, you know, well, be the cardinal sign that they are. And then me be the uh, fixed earth sign that I am, have the follow through. That can sometimes be a problem for cardinal signs. All cardinal signs, not just Capricorns, just so you understand. <clears throat> the devil card, that's your energy. So there could have been something toxic, but it could just be your energy. We're going to definitely have to clarify to find out. Uh, uh, if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If you are a new viewer, welcome. I will clarify all these cards. Past, present, near future, someone to you, you to the someone, balance, outcome, summary. This is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. There is no gender in tarot. You are either walking up to someone and talking or someone is walking up to you and talking. And this whole reading is a conversation between you and at least one other person. Some cards do mean groups. I don't really see any here. Also on this channel, relationship is defined as a continued interaction between any two people. I'm going to describe energy. You're going to place it on the person that sounds like, and then that's the relationship we're talking about. Okay. Also, it's all new decks for you guys. Well, not these oracles over here, but the rest of them. Because this is the uh, kitty corn deck. And isn't it just adorable? Even you guys in this deck. Look at that, Cappy. Look at that. You got two rainbow horns and a rainbow tail with some wings and then notice how those cats are actually like you know devils as opposed to you know these cats that don't have horns but you'll notice that not all the cats in the the pictures have horns like these two there's no horns on this lover's card cats they are not catacorns not everybody is a catacorn You get to be a kind of catacorn, though. So that's good. You also have the Lenormand deck and the Golden Art Nouveau. And then this is actually two decks uh, all mixed in together in the Shadows and the Hidden Truth Oracle. So we are clarifying two of the peoples that show up with those after we get to a certain place. But in your past, um, well, either you were being you or there was something toxic going on, and it might be something toxic going on within a relationship. Two of Cups could be with a Cancer, doesn't have to be. Could just be a relationship. And remember, relationship here is defined as a continued interaction. I'm not telling you what kind. We'll clarify. You place it on the person that sounds like that's who it is. Eight of Swords, whatever happened here though, you got all up in your head and worried about it. Your heart uh, was hurting. Feeling anxious. Something went wrong. Remember, this is all past energy. In your present moment, Eight of Cups, you're walking away from something that no longer serves you. Off you go to see if you can uh, find that last cup. Five of Pentacles in your near future. Either money could be tight or you could be feeling left out in the cold. Knight of Wands, any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Heavy on that Sagittarius. Also a card of Scorpio. So there could be some fast moving energy that comes in or somebody with a purpose and a job to do. Maybe, um, maybe even you find something to focus on. It could be you focusing on something, even though that's not traditionally a card of Capricorn that we have to clarify to find out. Chariot is cancer energy again. You're in here. There could be travel happening. It could be motion, movement, something to do with a vehicle, some kind of travel occurring. Nine of Wands, but you're feeling defensive about something. You're the wounded warrior just trying to hold on. What you all defensive about, Cappy? We're going to have to clarify to find out. Page of Swords, there's going to be something you find out. Page of Wands could have something to do with children because these are children cards. Two children, maybe, but it doesn't have to be. You're going to find out something. 
and it's going to, so either this person's going to inform you of something, Page of Swords, and then you're going to take action on it, Page of Wands, or, you know, you're going to inform somebody of something and then you're going to take action on it. It speaks of, you know, maybe your, your words and actions being in an alignment. Four of Pentacles, there's blockage though. You're going to speak to somebody maybe about a blockage. Wheel of Fortune. That's uh, the divine timing being at play. Magician. That's Gemini Virgo energy. You could be talking, need to talk about something that you want to manifest. But divine timing is at play. And there is a blockage in this manifestation. You might find out why your manifestation has been blocked. What's this devil card in Capricorn's past? Queen of Pentacles. It's you, that's for sure. You could be in the middle of a transformation. Oh no, I'm sorry, Queen of Wands. That's Aries. Aries, Pisces, Libra. Could be one of the other fire signs. That looked like a spade to me for a second, but it's not. That's a, a club. So there, there's some sort of transformation. You could still be in the middle of a transformation or there could have been a transformation in a relationship. What's this devil card in Capricorn's past? You were waiting on something. What's this devil card in Capricorn's past? You might have got tired of waiting. Hermit card. It's Virgo energy. You might have gotten tired of waiting for something. So you walked away to go heal. Hermit card. You could have got tired of waiting for someone. Maybe you were waiting for somebody to transform. And you just got tired of waiting for them. Because they weren't transforming. So you left. What's this Two of Cups? You wanted to find a happy relationship. Um, that's the Nine of Cups. It's looking for happiness. And the Rider is like getting the Knight of Cups. So... Uh, any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Having on the Pisces, also a card of Aquarius. What's this Two of Cups? So you could have left this relationship for another one. What's this Two of Cups? Maybe with the Sagittarius. What's this Two of Cups? Or, oh, okay, Page of Cups. Or um, you could have decided to go focus on work in order to find balance. You wanted to have some sort of healthy relationship right? Healthy, happy relationship. Something with balance. So you went to go focus on work. What's this Eight of Swords? Yeah, uh, you're up in your head because somebody's being deceitful. Nine of Wands, feeling defensive, right? But because of the sly, slick energy. What's this Eight of Swords in Capricorn's past. What's this Eight of Swords in Capricorn's past? What's this Eight of Swords in Capricorn's past? Okay, so. Yeah, so because somebody's deceitful. Somebody was lying, right? So it put you up in your head, Eight of Swords. Uh, could be this Empress. It's Taurus Libra energy, but it's also a card of mothers. It, you could be a mother. You could be the mother of your children. Um, it could be your mother, or it could just be a mother. Taurus uh, energy there with the hierophant, but higher education, higher learning, the divine as well. Nope, the papal cross and the pointing the fingers to the Lord. Yeah, you were up in your head because somebody was deceitful. Maybe you, somebody was even lying about... Being single, I mean, that's entirely possible. The Seven of Swords, lying, stealing, cheating, manipulating. Somebody might be, might have actually been married. And that's what you, like, found out about. Or something. What's this Eight of Cups? So then you had to walk away again? You could have had to walk away from two relationships recently. Six of Wands, you have victory through faith. Victory through faith if you're walking away from something in this the present moment. What's this? Eight of Cups. What's this Eight of Cups? What's this Eight of Cups? 
Double card. Look at that contradiction. Contrary energies. It's victory through faith over this toxicity. You need some higher perspective. Um, if it's a toxic situation for you, this stuff, which is what it sounds like it might be. But if not, um, you know, it could just be you needing to have the faith that you will be victorious if you walk away from something. You need this higher perspective on work, money. Uh, this is the minor arcana of the empress. So it could be that person from your past that was being deceitful. What's this five of pentacles? Eight of swords. You're worried about the stability. You're worried about stability and possibly secrecy with that key. What's this five of pentacles? What's this five of pentacles? You want victory. What's this five of pentacles? Mm. Let me see. You're trying to be victorious over this eight of swords, you know, up in your head, worried about security, worried about money, energy, six of wands. But there's an element of destiny here that, uh, or you could need to interact with an Aquarius because it's also a card of Aquarius, but it's a card of the divine. You have the five of pentacles twice. I would look up the angel number 55. That's for sure. Keep the 33 there in the corner. The mystery key. And an Aquarius. That would only make sense for one particular Capricorn, I know. Um, some of the struggle you're, you're going through now because of decisions in the past. Whoever you got yourself involved with. So I'm going to, I'm going to word it like this because this is, I put it up on, on YouTube before and it's one of these uh, channel messages, uh, which goes out to a much broader audience because if this is about to make you squeamish and I don't know why you're still watching this channel or you maybe won't want to after this, there's this thing that's essentially called like a spiritual STD. Okay. Uh, there is a need to cleanse oneself of any bad habits, bad energies, bad mental states that we absorb. Um, it's a spiritually transmitted disease specifically, okay? When I say spiritual STD. Yes, intimacy is a way that one can catch it, but that's not the only way. So it's not really what I focus on. Um, you can't just be around anybody. If you're looking at people and they're in your environment and you know that they're not acting right, you know they're doing things that harm other people, you know that they're doing, you can't laugh it, at, laugh it up and yuck it up with those people if they're running around doing other things deliberately to hurt other people. Even if you're not laughing at that, it doesn't matter. You absorb the energy, especially if you're sensitive, you absorb the energy of the room you're in. So if they're terrible people in your environment, you're going to absorb some of their bad karma. Think of it as a spiritual accessory after the fact. Just like the legal law, at least in the United States, says that if you know somebody committed a crime and you don't report them, you don't snitch, right? Or if you know that they tell you that they're going to commit a crime and then they go commit it and you don't say it, Right? You don't tell. You know that somebody committed a crime at some point of the crime, either before, after, or during, and you don't call the cops. And they get found out, the cops find out that you knew. You go to the jail for the exact same prison term as the person who did the crime. Obviously, one of the easiest things here would be to not hang out with criminals. Is the easiest to, the answer to this. Okay, so you can't be hanging out with people who engage in behavior that you don't agree with. It seems to me like very basic, but at the same time, you could be going through negative karma here in your future for either actions you took in the past or actions of people around you that you stayed involved with took. 
What is this Knight of Wands in Capricorn's near future? Be mindful with your environment. Knight of Wands is like player player energy. Here for a good time, not a long time. And then there's a tower happening there. Six of Pentacles because in, of inequity. What's this Knight of Wands? What's this Knight of Wands? Look at all that. That's, that's a freaking book. <laughs> But we got a tower. Why do we got a tower? We got a tower because of an inequity. Oh, there's going to be a bunch of fighting. This queen of wands that you were dealing with in the past there. Any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Heavy on the Aries. Also a card of Libra and Pisces. This knight of pentacles. Any earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Heavy on the Virgo. Also a card of Leo. You guys are going to have this tower because of this fight. Five of Wands. That's a heated argument. That's yelling. That's screaming. It could be a fist fight. It's politics, gossip. People running their mouths. Eight of Swords. You can't be running around running your mouth. Also, if you consume a lot of drama on your television, expect to have a lot of drama in your personal life. Eight of Swords all up in your head about the future. Because of this contract, document, paperwork, marriage, justice card, Libra energy, or this karma. It's karmic justice is what that feels like. What is this chariot card? Okay, so nightmare situation for somebody. This person's way up in their head, living in this nightmare situation about this ending, and they want some sort of forward progress. You feel suspicious, and you should. What's this chariot card, especially after these towers and stuff? What's this chariot card? What's this chariot card? Yeah. Uh, so this person's trying to manifest something. Gemini Virgo energy. Leo energy there with the sun. And uh, what they're trying to manifest might be for their happiness. They may, but they might be trying to give you some burdens. Ten of Wands. They might want you to handle something for them. Hey, can you please take care of this for me? What's this Nine of Wands? King of Wands. King of Wands, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, heavy on that Leo. Also a card of Cancer. This person brings confusion with this clouds. Now... I will say in the in the Taurus readings, the King of Wands comes through as a lesson or an energy, not as a person. Like as if it's a card for that the opposition likes to take uh, a hold, which I find interesting because it's not the devil card. It's the King of Wands. So this could be a lesson, this confusion. What's this Nine of Wands? What's this Nine of Wands? I mean, you're clearly already feeling overburdened. Take all three of them. If you're in this Nine of Wands energy before this person comes to you, trying to give you more stuff. Page of Swords. You're going to find something out. So this is you down here, Page of Swords. Something you didn't know. Cancer Pisces energy, something that was hidden beyond, behind the veil. That's going to make you take this leap of faith over into calmer waters. You're going to say no to this person. Because you're going to figure this out. What's this page of swords? It could involve a child. Literally got the child card. Knight of Pentacles. Any earth sign? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Heavy on the Virgo. Also a card of Leo. What's this page of swords? What's this page of swords? What's this page of swords? So whatever you find out is going to make you feel defensive. Seven of wands. There's going to be some sort of juggling happening here. And a commitment. Contract, document, paperwork, marriage. Feels like a commitment. You're going to feel all kinds of defensive when you find out about... Because this is a... Knight of Pentacles is also a card of Leo. Heavy on the Leo energy here. When you find out about a commitment and a child, 
possibly a child. For some of you, it's going to be a child, not for everybody. A commitment this other person already has. Or maybe this person is going to act immature. They're going to say something, do something that, that, you know, with the way they say it shows you their immaturity. What's this page of wounds? Ace of Cups. Okay. You could find something out from a dark haired man. What's this page of wounds? What's this page of wounds? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not going to do all that. What's this page of wounds? You already got one novel. You don't need another one. Page of Wands. You're going to find out something. Some opportunity or something. Ace of Cups. From this dark-haired man. Some opportunity. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be something heartfelt. Uh, chariot card is Cancer Energy. About this motion, movement, or travel. That puts you at this crossroads, Two of Wands. But this... Uh, King of Pentacles, any earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, heavy on the Taurus. Also card of Aries. Hmm. So somebody could be attempting to manifest some sort of travel. But can't because of some kind of burden. So I guess that could be a thing. What's this Four of Pentacles? It's like getting the Ten of Pentacles. So there could be some sort of blockage with movement or some sort of blockage due to work. What's this Four of Pentacles? What's this Four of Pentacles? What's this Four of Pentacles? Seven of Cups, some sort of confusion. Yeah, this blockage is, is some sort of confusion energy. Some sort of confusion energy around some sort of inequity. I mean, but there's some happiness about work. Why would somebody be happy about confusion or happy about a blockage? So it feels like somebody's happy with their work situation. Even though there's some sort of confusion and some sort of blockage. It feels like somebody's work situation is part of the blockage to uh, this opportunity with that Ace of Cups. What is this Wheel of Fortune? I mean, divine timing is at play. It involves a soulmate, a destined soulmate connection. And it doesn't, again, doesn't have to be romantic. You can have people who are supposed to be business partners that can be your soulmates, okay? What is this Wheel of Fortune? What is this Wheel of Fortune? Whoa, whoa. Look at that. What is this Wheel of Fortune? Okay, so it's for you. Because you were in that Nine of Wands energy. And when it fell upright, Knight of Wands. Any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, heavy on the Sagittarius, also card of Scorpio. There's some sort of action for you to take. Now, this could be this other person. Um, but remember, this other person here, This, if this is this person, if this is, this is the hot messness here. Remember? The reason for all these towers with this Libra, this Virgo, this Leo, I mean, this group, <laughs> this hot messness of a group. Nine of Wands is, uh, is the energy that you're in, though. So I, it really feels like there is some sort of action you're supposed to take with that Nine of Wands energy. Even if you feel defensive about it, but it's divine timing is at play here. It does involve some kind of soulmate connection. And there is an Ace of Pentacles, an opportunity, a real opportunity here. 
What is this magician? The King of Pentacles can also be a boss. King of Swords. That's your energy. King of Swords is uh, Capricorn energy. You're trying to manifest something. So you're the one trying to manifest it. What's this magician? What's this magician? Why would you manifest that? What's this magician? Capricorn. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> okay. I can understand trying to manifest this. <laughs> And trying to take some sort of action about that. Knight of Swords, any air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heavy on the Gemini, also card of Taurus. But some sort of argument, five of swords, that comes rushing in because you're trying to manifest something with work, with money. Somebody is not happy if you have some sort of... I mean, Ten of Pentacles can be... It doesn't just have to be uh, work life. It can also be home life. Technically, Ten of Pentacles is really, it's the everything. The happy home, the picket fence, the career you love. It's the everything. It's not just the happy career. But the Ten of Cups can be the happy home, but without having the happy career. Ten of Pentacles can also be the career without having the happy home. So you're trying to go for something that makes you happy. You're trying to manifest something with money, with work. And this person's going to come rushing in with some sort of argument. But you've got... The divine says you got work to do. That's why there's... Uh, again, with the Ten of Pentacles here. And this happiness. But there's a block. This confusion. That this person brings. Into your life. This Leo. This Leo. This Virgo. This Libra. There's something that's being hidden. You find out something that was hidden. That's why you take a, some sort of leap of faith. This is like, there's, there's so many people to choose from here. So let's, um, let's pull out the actual people in question with this hot mess of a pile I mean I can't imagine why we'd want to hear from anybody else we'll get three even though we don't normally do three since we've got re reoccurring here I don't normally do these during these readings at all what does this knight of pentacles want to say to Capricorn did you see that I saw that where'd you go it was backwards in there I saw it. It's one of these ones. I'm not kidding. It's in there. Do, do, do. Where are you? There you go. That's what that Knight of Pentacles wants to say to you. They look for you everywhere. I mean, that's a Leo. Or it's an Earth sign. What does this Queen of Wands want to say to Capricorn? I wish I could take back my words. What does this Knight of Wands want to say to Capricorn? I want you. Yeah, they're here for a good time, not a long time. So it's going to be a matter of what you're trying to build. Because it looks like you have a hot mess within a group. And within this hot mess of a group, is that all of them? Yeah, because that was the card. Within this hot mess of a group situation you have, you have two different tower situations that is going to be going on here. And arguments and up in your head and nonsense because somebody running around uh, or group of people running around. There's the other one. Play, doing play a play a moves. Well, play a play a moves. What you put out is what you get back. Play a play a. So it's coming for you. This explosion is happening because there's too much people swapping parts here. If it's not in a personal life for you, then it's uh, it's in your business life where there's a hot mess. People were making poor decisions because they were thinking with their egos. 
Advice for Capricorn, November 15th to the 22nd. Advice for Capricorn, November 15th to the 22nd. Advice for Capricorn, November 15th to the 22nd. Yeah. Yeah, this is an ending, that's for sure. This Five of Wands, this argument that's happening here, there's no going back to whatever that was. It's, it's over because this is unequal. You're going to feel betrayed. This argument is going to make you feel betrayed. If you have a yes or no question you would like answered, this is the time to think it because this is the deck that does it. I'm going to pull three cards. This is your opportunity to pause the video to think of one to three yes or no questions you would like answered. Message for Capricorn. Message for Capricorn. I never take the first one that way. It's not just whatever cards on the bottom of the deck. Remain positive. Message for Capricorn. Not the right time. Message for Capricorn. You're ready. Just not for that, apparently. Yes? No? Yes. Advice for Capricorn. November 15th to the 22nd. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Now you know what's happening. Don't let your past hold you back. South node. Yep, this is a mess that you made somewhere within your past. Advice for Capricorn. November 15th to the 22nd. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon. And that is what you are. A cardinal sign. No excuses for a, I don't know how to go first. You're supposed to lead the season. The season of winter, specifically. What you don't see coming on the bottom of the deck is luck is on your side. New moon is Sagittarius. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. That is in uh, the end of November. Do you this like the 27th? The energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon. Emotions are running high. Super moon. Obviously for you, too, as there is arguments galore happening, Cappy. Careful, careful. And right before the holidays, too. Message. I guess it's that one. <laughs> Very sleep magic. We see you're tired. Let us restore your life force. As you sleep, we fairies will heal you. So you awaken in the morn, refreshed and full of energy. Well, make sure you give those fairies that permission. So they're not going to come touch you without their, your permission. They're good like that. I hope that helps, Capricorn. I'm sorry it's a rough one, but it's what I have for you. Just, you know, remember, as you go about the world this week, that you are a child of the universe. No less than the trees and the stars. And you... Have a right to be here.